hello, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down and check out what is going on in my bag because let me tell you, it is so um, just fun. I love watching these videos. I've been watching them for years and I've gotten a lot of good tips and tricks. So uh, perhaps something that I carry in my bag will be of great resource to you. Um, Cause one of the things that kind of cracks me up about watching what's in my bag videos is everybody kind of segments them off like, What's in my work bag? What's in my travel bag? What's in my everyday handbag? What's in my mom bag? And I'm the type of person that I don't have time for that. My bag has to multifunction um, for all those things on a regular basis. And so, like I said, maybe there'll be something that I carry in my bag that you're like, I never thought to do that. So um, just kind of to preface it, I am a super organized person. I, I clean out my purse frequently. Um, I will do my best to link everything in the description box below. But one of the keys to success for me has been having a bag organizer. And I know that that is super challenging to find because sometimes the bag organizers are too big and bulky. Sometimes they're the pockets aren't wide enough where they're actually functional for you or you know I, I've been through several bag organizers throughout the years but the one that I'm going to link in my description box below I found from a shop on Etsy several years ago I love this bag organizer I actually have two because I have one that fits in my Neverfull MM these are fantastic the pockets are deep enough where they're actually functional um, but the bag organizer is quite affordable it's more affordable than a smorgo organizer so just kind of FYI and it's super lightweight <clears throat> which is really really important for me on an everyday basis so um, just to kind of preface that that information will be in the description box below and then my bag because the bag that I've been carrying lately is a tote from a company called Consuela. I noticed that they're really upping their game on Instagram in terms of advertising. I actually did a what's in my bag slash review on a Consuela tote. I guess it was like four or five years ago, so you can go back and check out that video. But this company is absolutely fantastic. She's based out of Austin, Texas. And one of the things that I really appreciate, along with the handcrafted um, bags, like every bag has its own kind of personality. You can really be unique and have something different to offer your, your outfit or your vibe. You know, it's just they're fantastic. Um, but a portion of her profits she donates to women. Um, charities that benefit women. So really, really awesome, amazing company to check out. It is definitely um, a Mexican art themed, like she's got the Serape um, inspired handles and then the, the leather is just super soft, super comfortable. And even though it looks like a really gigantic tote, it's actually quite comfortable to wear on the shoulder. It's honestly more comfortable than wearing like a Louis Vuitton Neverfull, just kind of saying, because um, I do carry a lot of stuff in my handbag, but I don't want it to be super way down and then way down my shoulders. So that is very, very important to me. The other thing that I love about these totes is the insides are not the typical black holes. Every one of them you can see on the inside because she uses bright colors and patterns. This bag happens to be her classic Mel. When, if you're, if you're curious and you're looking on the website, it's classic Mel, it has kind of this Jaguar print and then the roses on the side. And one of the things I love about her newer renditions is they're kind of a plastic um, vinyl feel, so everything is easily wiped down. And then I also have one of her woven bags, which again, super easy to take care of, super easy to keep clean. The inside, you can completely wipe down. And one of the things I love, like the inside of this is rose gold, super easy to see. It's kind of like the Kate Spade Glitter Bug collection that came out years ago. Do you remember that? Um, you still get a zipper pocket on the side. And then I love that there's that pop of teal, um, kind of a turquoise slip pocket on the inside. So super, super great. I love this bag. It is very much a conversation piece when I go out in public. Um, but at the same time, it is very functional for me on an everyday basis, especially once I add in my bag organizer. So let's get to it. The first thing that I have in my bag that I wanted to talk about is I carry this little micro wallet that I got off of Amazon. It's inspired by the Louis Vuitton Empreinte um, pattern. The reason that I got this is because I'm really into the micro wallets. I don't like to carry a lot of excess stuff anymore because it's just more bulk and I don't wanna to have to worry about it. These wallets are very affordable and they have the RFID protection, which awesome, you know, <laughs> it's just kind of that little little bit of a peace of mind, you know, because my husband and I have had to deal with debit cards being stolen in the past and whatnot. And then I've also gotten this chain off of Amazon as well. I typically use this with my 
Um, I've got a little pochette that if I want to carry it at night just for an easy quick handbag, I will attach this as a short shoulder strap. But other than that, since I have this as an, an open tote that doesn't have a closure, um, I go on and use it to hook my wallet into my bag, which sounds kind of extra when you first think about it. But when you're going in and out of stores like the grocery store and all that, I've become kind of dependent on having that because I, I don't have to worry about leaving my wallet anywhere. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's always attached to my purse and then I can just think about slipping my debit card back into my bag and then I'm good to go. So um, that's a tip that I didn't realize how useful <laughs> that is because as I carried my Neverfull for years and years and years, um, I would always hook my wallet into my D-ring and now it's kind of something that I just expect to be able to do with my purses. So I just attached it to the inside zipper right here and then I zip my wallet closed and we're good to go. The next thing I have is some hand sanitizer. My daughter <laughs> picked out this uh, little unicorn um, hand sanitizer fob thing and then on the inside I have the juicy watermelon scent. I've really been on a watermelon kick with summer lately. Super, super fun. And then the other thing that I have going on in here, nope, it's in the bottom of my bag. Typically I keep it in the um, little slip pocket along with my phone is I have one of these alarm system, or not system thing, but you pull the plug and it has like a really loud alarm because I go to classes um, and sometimes um, travel out late at night. And so, you know, dealing with kind of rougher areas and all that, it's nice to have this when I'm walking around by myself at night because it can be a little bit, a little bit just unnerving to be walking around by yourself. So that's been super great. Um, in terms of my phone, I get a lot of questions and comments about this because people ask about my pop socket. The case I actually got from Luxie Lemon, it's um, another company that's kind of really super hyped up on Instagram. At first I was like, eh, I don't know, but I wanted a sleek matte black battery case and this has been fabulous. I think they retail for like 49 something, 49.99 and there's like a 25% off. Um, discount if you go to the Luxie Lemon website, so they're worth checking out. This pop socket I actually got off of Etsy. It's one of the custom um, things. It's like faux leather. It has leopard and then a cactus with a little turquoise medallion. Like I said, I get asked about this a lot because it reflects my style, but at the same time, it has that little bit of oomph, but it's still very neutral and fun, so I will do my best to find that shop. Um, and link it if you are curious about having one for yourself because I cannot survive with my phone without using a pop socket because this is a 7 plus and it's just so bulky that I need to have that extra um, kind of grip to my phone and why not have it be cute in the process. Um, then I have a little cosmetics bag. I actually just picked this up today because my other cosmetics bag really needed to be replaced and I love this because not only is it kind of that Tiffany blue but it is a silicone um, a pencil bag. They actually have these at Walmart in the back to school section. I saw three different colors. There was a hot pink, this color, and a matte black. It's definitely worth it. I just keep the typical um, on the go kind of cosmetic things in the bag just to kind of show you. Um, I've got a wet and wild powder. Um, this is great. I actually picked this up for my birthday. It's a little um, MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in a watermelon scent. This is divine. I actually want to pick up another bottle before those things um, are discontinued since they're limited edition. This is something that um, people kind of ask me about because I do clean my glasses frequently to make sure they're not smudged. Um, these are lens cleaning wipes from Kroger. They have alcohol already on them so what I do is I just run them over my glasses when I'm feeling like they need to be cleaned and then I quickly run the um, wipe over the screen of my phone and across the back of my case since it can get kind of smudgy and fingerprinty but these are awesome. Then I have a powder puff that I picked up off of Amazon. These are fantastic. A blotterazzi when I don't want to touch up with the powder. Uh, what's left of a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Any makeup that is kind of on its last dregs, I'll just throw in my purse and then kind of naturally project pan it. I have what's left of a MAC Mini in Velvet Teddy. Just not much. It's what I'm wearing on my lips currently. This is a go-to favorite for me at the moment. I also have what's left of a MAC World Lip Liner. This is another Holy Grail staple for me. Um, I've got a Fenty Gloss in the bossy shade, no fussy shade, pardon me, that I've just tossed into my bag because I really, I'm trying to make more use. And I only have two glosses. I've got the Fenty Glow and then the fussy, so I wanted to make some use out of that. Some tweezers, 
hair clips, and a hair tie to do messy buns on those hot days. So easy, don't even have to think about it. Then the next thing that I get asked about, yes I do, I carry this. <laughs> it is a uh, travel size cup holder from uh, Target because I will admit every time I go grocery shopping or I shop at Target or Walmart or any of that, I generally have a cup of iced coffee with me. I love it. And so this has been a staple in my bag for literally the last like four or five years. Not gonna joke. It, I, I can't survive without this. Because let me tell you, it is so helpful to be able to hook this onto the side of your cart or if you're in the south, your buggy, and be able to have your coffee and not have it rolling around in the child seat in the top or have to carry it while you're trying to wield the cart around the aisles and whatnot. I know this is so basic B, but <laughs> literally I cannot function without this. So if you see these at your Target, grab one because once you start using it, you will wonder where you've been <laughs> without it because seriously, it is so nice to have that on the go. And I know it's it's so dorky, but there we go. Then kind of on another note, let's, let's see how dorky I can be, but um, I carry mechanical pencils because like I said, I'm in a a tax program and so I don't like to do my work in pen. I always use pencils and my favorite brand of mechanical pencil is Papermate. They have the twist up erasers like this. They have them at the, you know, in the school supply section. So if you're wanting um, thicker lead for your kids so they don't constantly break or if you like to write in mechanical pencils, these, like I said, are my favorite and they're easy to change out the lead because you just pull off the top. You don't have to twist anything. The erasers are nice and thick and they erase completely clean because I'm, you know, definitely particular about that as well. So these are great. I also carry a large gummy eraser and then pens. Um, I wanted to share this tip because I got this from my grandfather years and years ago. He was an attorney and he said, whenever you um, carry pens around with you, always make sure that they are blue ink because when you sign things, you can always trace the originals when you've signed in blue. If you sign in black or other colors, it, it can be kind of hard to trace. And, and if somebody's trying to copy your signature on something or forge your signature, you always wanna make sure you're signing checks, contracts, and things like that with blue ink. So I carry two types of blue pens. I've got a regular ballpoint pen and then one of the um, gel ink pens in blue. So just kind of food for thought tip. Um, then because I go out of town frequently, I also carry a charger and I got this cord keeper off of Amazon. These are great. I actually have larger versions that I keep um, for my chargers at home, my computer charger. I've got my hair, actually, let me show you. I've got my hair dryer on a large version of these cord keepers. They are absolutely fantastic. And I know that the Amazon Prime stuff is going on right now. These are definitely worth your time and energy to check out because these cord keepers keep everything kind of nice and tidy, but at the same time, they're bright, fun colors so that you can see them easily. They're great. So I always keep a USB cable with me. Um, I have a smaller one that I keep my headphones on because I've got to have this stupid little um, headphone jack to go with my phone. So this just stays in my purse so that I'm always ready on the go. And then I always keep a, um, or an adapter to go into the wall so that I'm ready to go. And then I don't have to think about like packing a charger whenever I go out, out of town or if I'm at school, I have a charger instantly ready to go um, on top of having my extra battery case. So just super, super handy. I don't like to have to think about those things. Then another thing I get asked about all the time is I always have hand wipes on me. And even though my kids are past the diapering stage, I have discovered it's always kind of nice to have these because if you go out to lunch or dinner and let's say you're having pizza or burgers or you know whatever you're gonna have, it's kind of nice to have extra wipes to just take beyond the napkin, you know what I mean? Um, and usually when I've offered them, people are like, you know what, that's actually really handy to have. So these are just the wet ones, extra gentle for sensitive skin. We use these all the time, or if you happen to sit down at a table that's kind of grody and grimy, it's really nice to be able to wipe these down, and then it's a super slim travel size package. Then, I know this is kind of extra, <laughs> but I also carry two pairs of glasses on me. Um, so the first one, I wear glasses from Frumu. In fact, I'm not gonna go on and on about it. If you're curious about it, I will have um, information in the description box below. I love the company. I've reviewed for them. I continue to buy glasses from them because they are fantastic. One of the things that I love is they offer prescription sunglasses. And so I've got this Vera Bradley case that I've literally had for like the past, oh, how embarrassing, like 20 years. <laughs> 
so um, this is what I carry my backup sunglasses in and I found that this is super helpful for me because I have a pair of prescription sunglasses that I keep in my car because when you wear glasses all the time it is easy to forget <laughs> that you have your, your sunglasses on or you'll be wearing your glasses and then you end up wanting to go outside somewhere and your car will be too far away or you realize you're in somebody else's car. So I always carry backup sunglasses on me and then I keep a pair of sunglasses in my car. And then I also keep a pair of backup glasses. This case came from H&M. It was like less than $3, super cute with the leopard. Can you see a theme like with my, <laughs> my bag and my phone, like I love leopard print. And these are another pair glasses from Fermi. I absolutely love them. They're kind of a red plastic frame type. So seriously, go check out the Fermi website if you love prescription glasses and you want to shake up your style. Um, but the reason I carry the extra glasses now is I can't tell you how many times I've been caught. Um, I will forget that I left my real glasses in my car. I will be walking into a building with sunglasses, especially when I go to school. And by the time I get into the building, I'm like, crud, I don't have glasses. And I don't want to be that rude person that either walks into class late because I've left my glasses in the car or be rude and wear my sunglasses in the building. So um, I always carry a backup pair of glasses. And now that I do, I have found that I reach for them more than I thought I would. <laughs> so just kind of tip for that. Again, if you wear glasses all the time, it's nice to have. Then I have a travel size hairbrush that I got, mm, I can't remember if I picked this up at Ulta or if this was a drugstore find, but I know Ulta has the um, bristles like this that are kind of wavy and like bright colors are super fun. There's a mirror on the back so I can go on and multitask. And I always carry a butterfly clip because I, I prefer, um, if I'm gonna put my hair up, I like to use a butterfly clip versus doing a hair tie just so you don't have all the lines and all that stuff going on with your hair. Then one of the things that I thought was super gimmicky, but I actually use this more than I thought I would, <laughs> poopery. I know, like when I first saw this, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Like who would use that? But if you start carrying this in your bag and using it and use it, you will realize again, like the cup holder, where has this been all my life? Because it is super helpful to be in a public bathroom and not feel embarrassed, especially like if your kids are, you know, their tummies are upset or if you're worried about things kind of smelling up and being embarrassed where you're staying in the bathroom for way too long to avoid, you know, <laughs> acknowledging <laughs> what's going on. This has been super helpful. This is in the original citrus scent and you just literally spray like one or two spritzes before you sit down and it works. I, that's, that's all I'm gonna say about that, it works, but that's one of those products that, yeah, it was super gimmicky, but now that I have that in routine, I find myself um, constantly reaching for it. And other people um, have asked about it too. Like if, if you spray it, you can smell it, you know, in the stall next to you or whatnot. And other women have been like, you know what? I need to get myself some of that, you know? So just kind of, I know it's a little overshare, but you'll use it if you, <laughs> if you pick that up. Then another thing that I know this is kind of extra, but I actually use this, is a fan. This is just one of those like affordable um, bamboo fans that you can buy on Amazon for like six bucks. Um, these are great. Like I take my son to tutoring and I sit outside in my car while he's um, in tutoring. So this is super helpful so that I'm not leaving my car running for the entire time because it's 100 degrees here in Texas. And so um, it's super nice to like have my windows open and then be able to um, use my fan while he's in there and then not have my car running. So I've been using that a lot. Or if you're in church and it gets super hot, these are great. And again, you know, you can buy this for like less than 10 bucks on Amazon and they're super fun. And once you start carrying it, you'll wonder where you've lived without it. Then I also carry a lint roller. This came off of Amazon. I guess I should have done this before all the Amazon Prime stuff. Um, but the brand on this is called uh, Flint. These are super great because I have dogs and there's nothing worse than having like black slacks on and then you get out of your car and realize that it's covered in white Labrador fur like my dog. <laughs> so these are super great and they come in all sorts of different colors and I've actually started seeing these mini lint rollers in Target um, and you can buy the replacement rollers. I need to take off this sheet. I go on like after I use it, I'll just leave the sheet on there until I'm ready with the next one so that way um, it doesn't get all kind of weird and linty 
and waist extra sheets, but this is absolutely great because again, going for work when I'm wearing slacks or uh, you know when I stress or whatnot, it's great to have this and also to um, when I'm around people that are allergic to um, dog hair and things like that, it's kind of nice to be able to just help them out a little bit more by making sure that I'm not adding to the possible allergens. I also keep tied to go pens. This was something that I, again, thought was kind of gimmicky for a long time, but now that I carry them, I don't know what I've done without them because we use these as a family all the time. I can't even begin to tell you how many times we've needed things on the go or we'll be out and a friend will be like, crud, I've just spilled something on myself. I'm like, got you covered. You know, between, between wipes and tied to go pen, these are fantastic. In fact, this one's almost done. So I've got a backup already ready to go. They are great, great stuff. A new find that I've actually, I haven't been using for too long, but it's actually really great. I got this off of Amazon. It is the Gold Bond Friction Defense um, Soothing Comforts, uh, basically uh, chub rub cream, but it's in deodorant form. This is actually really, really great because um, it is over 100 degrees and you know when you're outside I love to wear sundresses I don't do a lot of shorts It's kind of nice to have this to just make sure that there's no chafing between your legs And then you don't have to do like actual deodorant because this doesn't have any scent to it Which is really nice because the other thing that I've noticed is you know I've done deodorant in the past to like make sure there's no chafing and rubbing and whatnot but the scent can be kind of irritating on other parts of my body and so because you put the deodorant like in your armpit area, it's kind of nice to have something else um, if you have other areas that chafe, but this is really, really great. This is a backup too that I just got from my Amazon Prime delivery. Very much worth your time if that is something that you struggle with in the summer months, because you can apply it like to the insides of your elbows if you're really prone to eczema. I know that's something that I have to think about. Um, and definitely if you um, wear sundresses in the summer or you deal with chub rub on a regular basis, it's really nice to have that. Or also with your shoes. Um, you can go on and run it on the sides of your feet if you're prone to athlete's foot or do your heels and it keeps everything kind of nice and dry if you're wearing a lot of ballet flats um, without socks and things like that. I know I think about that because I wear my, my shoes open like that and you don't want your feet to get all nasty and like disgusting. So definitely worth checking out. Then the other thing that I keep in here, I have some saline nasal spray. Um, I use this because um, if I have, oh, TMI, <laughs> but um, I do have my nose pierced. And one of the things that I noticed nobody talks about is the weird like booger situation <laughs> that you get when you have a nose piercing. Like literally, I've not heard anybody talk about this, but they're strange and you don't want to be looking all disgusting trying to you know, get rid of that discomfort. And so I keep saline nasal spray to kind of just spritz my nose to moisten everything up so I can clean out my nose. And then also with my ear piercings, if they get a little fussy, I will um, spritz some saline solution on them to just kind of keep them because my flat cartilage piercing up here tends to give me a little bit of issue um, every once in a while. So it's nice to have this on the go um, to kind of help moisturize and keep that area clean. Then the one thing that I thought was a really extra purchase, but I actually appreciate having this is um, a key pouch. This one is a Louis Vuitton in the monogram print. I've actually found some more affordable options on Amazon if you don't want to spend the money on a spendy product, but these are actually really nice because um, if you're carrying a smaller bag, I guess I never really understood the utility of it until I started using it, but it's kind of nice to know that your keys aren't going to scratch your phone. They're not going to scratch your wallet. They're not going to scratch your makeup bag or, or things like that. And so having this is really great. And one of the things that I love about the, the Louis Vuitton version is it does have a pocket back here that I can keep my insurance information and everything's ready to go. I, it, it's large enough where I can fit my key fob. Um, it doesn't get overwhelming. Like as you can see, it fits all of my keys and my fob quite well. I can snap it closed. It's super flat. There's nothing hanging out. And then I just lay it flat into the side of my bag organizer. It is absolutely great. I also keep travel size tissues. I love these slim packs because they're super easy. My son and I go through a lot of tissues with allergies or if I'm needing to, um, you know, <laughs> do my saline spray on the go with my nose piercing and whatnot. It's really nice to have these. I just pick them up at the grocery store. And then I have my um, 
kind of pocket where I keep gum. My favorite right now is the extra long lasting and sweet watermelon. This is great. I've also got the watermelon and tropical fruit. This one's really awesome too. And then I keep two kinds of mints because sometimes I want something sweet. I love the strawberry Altoids. That has been a recent favorite for me. And then I also have mint um, when I want more traditional smelling breath, you know, going for work and, and school and whatnot. If I don't want to smell like sweet and strawberry, these are awesome to have. And then lastly, I have a pocket where I keep lady things over here, you know, pads and tampons. Nobody needs to see that. I've got a fidget cube in here that I use um, when I'm sitting at my desk and when I'm sitting at tables. The, the one side I don't like is this light switch side because it can be kind of loud and annoying, but the rest of the buttons are super easy to kind of manipulate and, you know, keep yourself focused for a while, especially when things get a little bit tedious. And then I do have one pocket on the side that I kind of consider my first aid pocket. I have Afterbite because we're in Texas, mosquitoes are a real thing. Um, so this is like an anti-itch stick that you can rub. Um, just a gentle medicine on the bites after you get them. My kids and I get bitten by mosquitoes on a regular basis, it sucks. I also keep a travel size thing of Advil because that's handy how many times you can get caught unawares with a headache. Um, I keep a travel size tube of aquifer because my son often deals with cold sores with his allergies. That's one of the unfortunate um, side effects that he has to deal with. <clears throat> I also have um, a couple of things of eye drops. I've got severe eye drop gel that I use um, when I'm on the go um, out of town at night because I have chronically dry eyes and I don't want to pay for restasis because my insurance won't help me cover for that. Um, during the day, I use the Roto Dry Aid Lubricant Eye Drops. Let's see if I can not drop it. These are really, really awesome. Then if I want something a little bit stronger, I will go with the Sustain Complete Optimal Dry Eye Relief. Um, this tends to be more of my afternoon eye drop when, you know, it's super hot outside. My eyes can get kind of dry. And then lastly, I have some nail clippers because hang nails or you know, it's got a file attached to it. It's, it's just one of those things that, again, you realize that you need um, when you're on the go. So that's it. That's what's kind of going on in my bag. It all fits quite nicely in my Consuela tote. And I did want to say, um, in terms of this bag organizer, this is a great size. This is actually the large version of the link that I'm going to give you in the um, description box below but it fits really well if you are a long shop lover it fits in the lay pliage medium size and the large size handbag and this is the perfect size for a louis vuitton never full in the mm just kind of fyi um, if you are um, into those handbags for your collection as well and then that's i mean that's it. So I really appreciate you giving me some of your time. Um, I hope that you found some of these tips resourceful of things that you might want to consider carrying in your bag. I know it's a lot, um, but actually when I put this all together, my bag isn't super weighed down and then I feel like I'm prepared for most situations. In fact, when I try to switch down to a smaller bag, I end up inevitably missing my tote and then, you know, the stuff that I generally carry. And, and even though it's a lot, I do reach for every single thing in this bag on a regular basis. So like I said, hope you found some of that helpful. Everything will be linked in the, in the description box below for what I can find. Have an awesome day and I look forward to catching up with you soon. Until then, take care.